So this is going to be one of the side panels just because I've seen the design. Basically this will bolt to the side panel of the actual Bronco Sport. Crossbars will go across and then the front sheets should go on the actual top here. So that's probably one of them there. everybody we are here today and we have just got in our rack for the Bronco Sport this was a sponsorship and this video will be sponsored by Hobbs off-road for shipping us this rack for our Bronco so we can get it all installed and show them you show them show you guys the rack that um, they are gonna be selling on their website we do have some information about current accessories and stuff that they have already down below check it out in the description um, it's Hob, HobbsOffRoad.com um, and I'll double check that. I'm, I'm just kind of shooting from the hip right now. I'm kind of super excited because we just got this in. So I have just cut it open. I haven't opened it up yet. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at it and see what we got. Like I said, I already pre-cut this open a little bit, so made it a little bit easier. So this is a prototype. This is basically from Hobbs Off-Road. And I'm gonna have to take a look at some of the instructions as far as how this all goes together. He's already sent me some of the information as far as how it gets all put together. Um, but these look like some of the deflectors that he was talking about that they improved on. So I'll have to get some information. From the instructions as far as where these all go and we'll be doing a video on how to install these and get these all set up so set these back here and this is for the 2021 bronco sport One of these will be the set up for the side rails that actually bolt to the side, current side rails of the Bronco Sport. And then the other ones will be the crossbars that go across and help support it. This is going to be one of the side panels just because I've seen the design. Basically, this will bolt to the side panel of the actual Bronco Sport. Crossbars will go across, and then the front sheets should go on the actual top here. So, that's probably one of them there. And this will be the other side, it looks like. Basically, these here for the two side panels. Sure, don't hit anything. These here go to the front. This is the front here, and then this is the back here. And then these are probably the supports here. I'm sorry. The, these are probably the side bars, the front bars. Okay. Of course, we got all the hardware. Be able to bolt it all up. I 
like I said, I might have to go through the instructions. I'm not sure exactly 100% what all this stuff is for, but um, the instructions he sent me are pretty pretty detailed as far as how we do it, and we're going to basically be helping him with an instruction manual on building it out to help you guys when you guys go to install it to make it a little bit easier. More screws. support bars here. There's like the crossbars. Click it. panels, crossbars, mounts, additional mounts here. I'm not sure what these are all for. He was going to be sending out a whole bunch of different mounts to be able to mount some like pod lights and that kind of stuff. I'm not sure if that was in this kit or if he was shipping it out later. So we can show you guys some of the accessories they already currently do have for their truck models and some of their Jeep models. So here's the kit. Okay, so we here we are. We are outside. We are going to start getting this all installed. This light bar was not part of the sponsorship from Hobbs Off-Road. Um, but we're going to get this all. As you guys can see, we took the crossbars that we originally bought from Ford off of here, as well as the rooftop tent and the awning that was on the other side. As you can see, that is all off. So this is going to be kind of a video of us installing it. Um, the ease of it, we're going to have to relocate our little antenna here. Not sure where we're going to put that yet for the GSM uh, R radio. But once we get once we get this put together, we'll see where we kind of put this and put it all out. So, And then we're also going to be doing a little bit of video recording for some video instructions on how to install this. And some how-tos and whatnot. And yeah. We'll be getting the light bar also installed as well too so nice thing about our light bar is the wire will just have to go right up underneath there under the hood since we have the aux beam controller um, anybody else that's going to be wiring it inside you are going to have to do a little more digging these bars come up off the bronco and the, uh, there's actually a compartment back here where you can feed wires down and then it comes all the way to the front and you guys can wire it up there so let's get started Okay, so step one, you want to get your mounting brackets here and you want to kind of place them on the bar here and here for the one side because we're going to be taking the plate and we're going to be taking the button bolts here and the lock washer, uh, the lock nuts and we're going to be basically bolting the side plate to these mounting brackets that bolt to your existing bars. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so for the kit, uh, for this part, you're going to need a half inch wrench. And you're going to need a we have an impact here and make sure you're just careful with the impact if you do use it if you don't you're not careful with it just get a regular allen wrench and it'll be 13 16 on the allen size for the button bolt here that's going to go on the outside okay so that's how it goes all together sanders over there helping me with the other side this is it you can't do this by yourself um but i wanted to show you guys real quick so these bottom bolts here let me get the camera all set up so you ain't got much room behind here but basically if you just take your wrench open-ended and slide it above 
and onto the nut on the other side, you can tighten it down and torque it down. So we'll try to do a video, try to do a video over there and show you guys what we mean by that. Um, and kind of give you guys some information on that. So, so if this is the first time of you guys working on these Bronco Sports, so the reason we like this kit so much from Hobbs Off-Road is you don't have to take off these sidebars here. Most other kits I was doing research on, you have to take those kit those bars off. Um, nice thing about this is you don't have to do that with this one. So I think that's a plus. Um, also. There's a reason we brought a whole bunch of extra washers. So later on, once we're done, can't see it in through some of here, but it's over across these channels, there's a little slip. And we've dropped a few washers down there, test fitting this on and off and working with them on the this prototype. So once we're done, we're gonna take a magnet and get down in there and get all those little washers out. But just an FYI, Make sure you guys have a good hand on this. So, now this bottom one will be a little bit harder. So, we'll try to get as much video of this as we can. I'm gonna see if Xander can go to the other side and kind of show this, okay, the really tight good. area. So, okay, so now that we got the washer and the lock nut on there, so we're gonna tighten it up just enough to it snugs up onto the nylon. Then you're gonna take the wrench, just gotta kinda of be careful. That's why we got some of these here. So, we've done this a few times, so I'm, I've been, I'm able to do it a little bit by feel. But once you get that on there, give it a nice torque, and voila, all tightened down. So. Next one is this one here. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna take the end caps and we're gonna bolt them to the sidebar. You got these little T-nuts here. And then you got the button bolts here. These are fourth inch, so we'll start working on this. Okay, so basically you just slide in the T-bolts here into the channel, four per, cha four per slot. You take the bolt, line it up, and then it just screws down. So in the video earlier that we did earlier, you're gonna see these. These are little. These are called T nuts. Basically, they got a little chafer to them, and they slide inside these channels here. And basically, what it does is they slide in there, and then you take a quarter inch nut, or I'm sorry, a quarter quarter inch bolt with a, a washer into this nut here. So it just slides in there. You adjust it. So now the trick to this is we're gonna toss that over there into the little buckets. We have it all segregated. We have a a um, bolt washer and then we have the bolt washer combo for out here um, as well so basically we've pre-assembled the crossbars with these braces here and basically you set you do one side across here all together once you get that one side done this bar here will slide all the way towards you so that you have enough room to get to the other side to get the socket up inside here to bolt this down to the sidebar. So let me show you guys what we're talking about as we start working through this. So right now we have plenty of room. Now the front is gonna be, have give you plenty of room to kind of work with that. But as you move to the back, it kind of goes and bows to the back a little bit. So that's why we have the two, I'm sorry, we have three shorter ones. So the middle one here, this third one here is gonna be about an inch shorter. And then the back two are gonna be two inches shorter than all the other ones. So you take this and this with your nylon nut and this is where it gets a little, little complicated, but it works out really good when you keep it all loose. I 
another trick too, and I'll show you that this here in a second. So I got a couple different tricks for you guys when you guys are working on this. So you're gonna have a 7 16 socket, plus a standard Allen. And we're gonna have this set to tight. Kind of reach up in under here. So I'm gonna do it two different ways. The first way I'm gonna show you is this way here when it's all put together, just so you guys know how to do this if you guys decide to, and you're a little more limber. So basically we're just gonna tighten this up. Now we're not gonna tight, we're gonna we're gonna kind of align this all the way to the front, and then we're gonna do that all across here, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. So before I show you guys the finished product of all this, I want to go and show you guys this trick really quick that I learned that made it way easier for me to go and put these bolts in the back. So once you have these screws in and you get these T nuts aligned inside the bar, which these are load bars, that's gonna carry a majority of you guys' weight. Just kind of gently set it down. And then what you do is just lift it up Take your bolt, lift it up behind, and that gives you more access to get behind here. Here's one. And here comes the second one. How's my trailer staying up? In the bucket. Dude, it's not gonna fall. You better put that back. <laughs> Dude, and it's only for a little bit. You gotta risk the things you love for more things you want. So Xander just took one of my ladders. I got four four of my ladders kind of broken out into two. They're those little giants, and he just took it off the platform that I had, he basically took away my platform I was using for my for my trailer that we're building, the Overland trailer that we're taking out to Las Vegas. So, yeah. So, I'm showing them the trick to, if you take these off, you can basically tighten these back up, really tight, and then going to the back, that's gonna make it a lot easier. And then once you get this done, hold that side over there so it doesn't fall down. Basically, you just lift it back up. And you got to lift it back. Did it come out? It was never in. What are you talking about? So basically, you just realign where all your bolts are. Or your nuts are inside, inside here, your T-nuts. Real up. Nice thing about these too is you can kind of adjust them back and forth if any of them slide around. Adjust it to where it needs to be. Then set it up for the other side to make sure we're ready to go. Is that good over there? Got plenty of room? For what? No, I can't move my hand back there. Really? You can't? No, it's like this close. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay, so this is why it's very important to make sure you communicate. Apparently Xander don't know how to communicate. Apparently not. Just 
just joking. So once he gets his setup to where he needs to be, we're going to tighten these all up. And that's a little bit more simpler way to be able to get to this. Um, I found once you get this all in, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of smushes this all together and kind of binds it together so that it holds in really good and kind of structuralizes it. So as you can see, I'm hanging and pushing on these. I don't know what I could do and do with that one, but yeah. So let's finish it up. Just like that, that's how the crossbars are installed. So we're going to continue along. We're instead of doing a time lapse, we're going to knock this out real quick and then show you the finished product. So this is what it's going to look like before, and and we got that. So here's all the crossbars put together. And apologize, got a little excited, started working on this, but we got the rear deflector put on from Hobbs. Nice little logo there. Basically, it's just, here, let me see those brackets. So basically, it's just these little brackets here, and these just bolt to the side. Then you got two bolts that go on there, and voila, bolts right up there. We're gonna do the front deflect, the front um, wind diffu uh, diffuser. Okay, so here is the finished product. Still got a little defect, but I have already notified Paul about some of the stuff and we are working through some of the details to get that front fascia corrected. So it sits down in there a little bit nicer. We did make some corrections on our own, um, but I think it's gonna require uh, them to kind of cut it down a little bit more so that it fits in there nice and neat. So, but that's it. It's all done. Pretty simple install. Like I said, the instructions will have some handwritten ones that I'll uh, put up a link for as well. And hope you guys like it. So I hope you guys liked that video. Um, this was just a basic video that we put together as far as how easy it was for us to install this rack here. Um, this is it here, as you guys saw through there. This is the light bar. We don't have that quite hooked up yet. We have some wires we have to run from the hood up into the top rack area for that, as well as some pod lights that are gonna be going back there. So um, I wanna thank, uh, give a huge thanks out to Hobbs Off-Road for giving us a chance to support this uh, rack and show it off. Um, and then I'll leave the link down below for their website where you guys can get some more information as far as once they actually have this on their website and uh, what accessories and stuff you'll be able to buy for it and whatnot. So, like I said, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. That's how we are able to start doing some of this stuff here. Uh, make sure you like this video. Comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this rack and what you guys think of it. So until next time, we still have the trailer build that we're working on. Um, we got some uh, parts in that over the next, few, over, I'm sorry, over, over the last few weeks that we've been working on. So as soon as we get some more videos posted up, which will probably be in the next week or so, we're going to start showing some more of that off and showing you guys the progress of that as far as where we're at with the build and getting ready to head out to Las Vegas. So see you guys next time. Peace. Later.